Hello, my name is James Turnipseed. I just finished Destiny. I'll show you a picture of how I feel about the whole experience. That's how I feel. It is literally five minutes after I just finished the whole game. Bear with me, this might get long. I've got a laundry list of complaints and notes on this game. Starting off with the story. So, basically, what's Destiny? To me, Destiny is Halo meets Star Wars, have baby. Baby meets Borderlands and has a baby. <clears throat> and says, don't be like Borderlands because this is T14 and there's nothing funny about it and it's 100% serious. So, you get to go to Earth, Old Russia, the Moon, Venus, Mars, and the Tower. What do you do at the tower? The tower is basically the hub where all the people are and you hang out and you talk and buy and trade. But you can't really trade, you mostly just buy stuff. So, <clears throat> here's some of the bad stuff, in my opinion at least. You're so far into the future, people live on Mars, Earth, and Venus because stuff went south, but you still use bullets. You can use energy weapons, but you mostly use bullets, or I mostly use bullets. So, like, what's the point in that? Like, you're so far in the future, you can live on the moon, you can live on Mars, and you can live on Venus, but you still use bullets. So, there's a thing called a ghost, which basically brings you back to life. So, basically, the ghost is Cortana from Halo. Who lives in Master Chief's uniform, just like the ghosts do in Destiny. So, so the levels are pretty simple. You're basically just running through, shooting either the Fallen, uh, the Hive, and I forget the other two because I got to the point where I don't care about the story anymore. I don't care. I'm done with it. And that was at like level 15. I finished at level 18. So. So you can play with your friends up to three people. But the game gets harder with the more people you play. So if you play with three people, it gets pretty hard. Like, usually if you play by yourself, which you mostly did, um, you can take enemies down with like a clip or half a clip. With friends, it takes two clips, three clips, and then you go, oh, but the XP, the XP, everybody does kind of get similar XP if you're in the party together. So if you're playing, and then some other dude's in the, in the same level, and he's not in your party or your group or anything, he's just there. If he kills somebody, like if he steals your kill, you don't get that, the points. You don't get nothing for it. He does. So it's kind of like, what? And the rewards for the missions, or the multiplayer rewards, everything is just randomly generated, and it doesn't matter if you did good, you did terrible, or you did nothing. It doesn't matter. So here we go. So basically, the hives are like the flood, and the fallen are kind of like elites. And the ghost that lives in your chain, again, is like Cortana. So, you do go through the same level every single... Like, if you're on Mars, if the mission is on Mars, you start at the same spot. You end up passing something, same thing with the moon and Venus. You end up passing something and you go, oh, that looks pretty familiar. I think I was just there doing something. I give the story a five, because I just really didn't care. I didn't feel connected with anything. The ghost didn't even feel connected with the voice. Like the voiceover work is more like, this will be the end of this, not us. And it's just basically like, dude didn't care. Nobody felt like they cared. You know, like you're, you wake up dead, you were dead, and then the ghost brings you back to life. So you could either be a human, or awaken, or uh, exo, which is like a robot. 
and you're kind of like humans got kind of wiped out and you wake up and you're just like oh okay and you're guardian and you're supposed to keep the dark the darkness is coming throughout the whole game they talk about the darkness and at the end you do the final boss battle which wasn't that hard by myself I died once maybe twice and then that's it the light comes and that's it and then the guy gives a speech and then the chick talks to you and she gives you a gold gun and she's like, here, take this. You'll need it because this is not over. And so they basically, they're like, oh, so there's going to be a sequel now. I didn't have any glitches when I played through. So that was pretty cool. And you level up pretty fast early when you get to level 15 to 14. I think it's kind of difficult. Um. If you, if you don't like grindy games, you'll hate this. Because it gets really, really repetitive. You fight the same enemies, the same levels, the same everything. You could do patrols, which sounds cool, but it's basically... Go here, do this. Have put out your ghost, and you go like this. And then your ghost comes out of your body. And then there's a little scan thing, and he'll be like, oh, hold on, you know, defend us. And so basically, you're fighting waves and waves of en enemies who at one point are all the same. So it gets really like, oh, like, this is basically the best way to sum up this, this game. So if you Google or Bing or Yahoo, whatever search browser you use, if you type in Destiny Budget, it comes up that Activision, Activision says, yeah, here, a, re a report came out that Activision has over $500 million for Destiny development and launch marketing. However, in the newest weekly update, Bungie has clarified and stated that Destiny Budget is nowhere near 500 million. And this is a quote from them. We're boring everything it takes into Destiny to ensure it meets our fans' expectations and our own. Activision is too, but the budget for Destiny, including associated marketing costs and Pizza Wednesdays, is nowhere near 500 million dollars. So, <clears throat> it does have a Halo feel. Because it is Bungie. Like I said, Halo meets Star Wars meets Borderlands meets uh, every other game you ever played. That's a first person shooter or a MOBA. So, speaking of that, everybody loves multiplayer, right? That's everybody's hot thing now since Halo and Call of Duty. So, there's two type of multiplayer games. Or multiplayer system. Three if you count the story. But you can play by yourself. So I don't count that as multiplayer. So you could either play. The Crucible. Which is your basic. Multiplayer PvP. So this is what I have to think about that. You get. You get four games. You get Domination. Team Deathmatch. Free for All. Or 3v3 3v3 Team Deathmatch. And that's it. That's the only multiplayer you get. You carry everything over from the story mode, armor, and your weapons. So, if, which would have happened to me, the matchmaking is so terrible that when I was level 5, I ended up playing with level 20s. Which is like, they beat the story and played the hell out of multiplayer within however many days. So, you get higher level weapons, you get higher level everything. And it doesn't really matter, because to them, matchmaking is just here to go, you know? Because you unlock multiplayer at around level 5. So, there's that. And you do carry everything over, like I said. So you have OP armor, and you have OP weapons. Because I could go in there now with the gold gun and probably do some good damage. Or you could play the da the Vanguard, which is, you team up with two other people, one or two people, so... A party of three for legendary loot and you basically 
fight waves and waves of enemies going into uh sorry I'm leaking in so much my contacts are tripping right now sorry um <coughs> next sin. so you fight waves and waves of uh the same enemies you've been playing in the career and the story mode and then uh, you end up fighting uh bosses and that's the whole point you fight for loot legendary loot but like I said rewards <laughs> Which is the re the loot at the end? You get rewards, but it's you know some guy came in at the very end, last like the boss battle, and he got two rewards when me and the dude who played it for twenty minutes or however long we were stuck there got one reward each. So that's how the reward system works. It's random. Like I said, the guy came in at the end. Last mission, got two rewards, didn't do nothing. Me and the other dude got run one reward each. So, that's kind of... If you did spend $500 million on this game, you're on crack and you deserve your $500 million back. Because... That's all... That's... There's so many things. Like To me, it was just a big disappointment. I was very bummed. I wasn't on the hype train to be in with because I kind of figured, oh, it's Bungie, it's going to be another Halo type of game. Or, you know, like how how new could it be? But there's nothing new in it. It's just another game. And it feels like they were fighting and disagreeing the whole time. So I wouldn't buy it for 60 bucks. I'd wait for it to drop to about 30 if you're into the first person shooter type of games cause, you know they're gonna make a second one for sure <clears throat> because this one made so much money it's so popular and they're gonna make another one for sure I give the game rating out of 10 I'll give it a 6 no I'll give it a 7 yeah I guess I'll give it a 7 So. That's my opinion, like I said, sorry sorry it's so negative, but um positives, the graphics look pretty good, there was no glitches. Um That's about it though. It was kind of fun at the in the beginning it was fun. Some cool stuff happens during the mission that like you could do some cool stuff, but eh that's about it, you know, that's all I got to say about this, it's, I'm disappointed, peace.